Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to No Sweat English. My name is Carol Wright, I'll be your teacher for the day. Today I'd like to talk about some basic speaking practice with the word wanna, gonna, and gotta. Okay, so as you can see, these are not the way you should spell these words when you're writing, but hopefully you will have noticed by now that when Americans speak, they tend to kind of run their words together sometimes and mix them a little bit hard to understand. Um, that doesn't mean that you need to speak that way, but you need to know that's how many Americans will speak. So wanna is want to, gonna is going to, and gotta is got to. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to use these words today, and we're also going to practice on how to speak them. And before we do that, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that every time a video becomes available, you'll be notified. All right, let's get started. When we use the word wanna, um, it means want to, something you want to do, okay? So here I'm going to practice each one of them for you and you can follow me and we'll say it two times, okay? I want to order some food. I want to order some food. We want to buy some new clothes. We want to buy some new clothes. They want to go to the gym. They want to go to the gym. You want to talk to me? You want to talk to me? He wants to try sushi. He wants to try sushi. She wants to go swimming. She wants to go swimming. Okay, so you should notice because the S we need to add with he and she, we're going to change wanna to wants to. Wants to. Okay. How about don't want to or doesn't want to? Okay, how are we going to say that? Let's say it together. I don't want to go with you to the movies. I don't want to go with you to the movies. He doesn't want to help me. He doesn't want to help me. They don't want to tell the truth. They don't want to tell the truth. We don't want to take a test. We don't want to take a test. You don't want to see him today. You don't want to see him today. She doesn't want to move to California. She doesn't want to move to California. Okay. Next is we're going to use gonna, it means going to, and with gonna or going to, we're going to need the be verb. Okay, going to do something. So this is your plan, kind of talking about the, the future, what you're going to do. So with that, we're going to use the be verb with gonna. So let's start and practice together. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. She's going to go to Disneyland. She's going to go to Disneyland. They're going to pay for lunch. They're going to pay for lunch. We're going to drive to the supermarket. We're going to drive to the supermarket. You're going to do your homework now. You're going to do your homework now. He's going to eat with us. He's going to eat with us. Okay, let's see how we're going to use be verb plus not going to. So you not you don't plan to do this. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to ride the bus. I'm not going to ride the bus. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. He's not going to let me do this. He's not going to let me do this. She's not going to open the window. She's not going to open the window. They're not going to understand this. They're not going to understand this. We're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. So hopefully you notice as we speak these negative sentences, the stress is on the not. Okay, I'm not going to. You're not going to. He's not going to. She's not going to. They're not going to. We're not going to. Okay. Finally, we have got to. Okay, so gotta means got to. So the meaning of got to meaning you have to do something, you must do something. So I'm going to put must here to remind you the meaning. So you have really no choice, but you must do something. Now there are two ways to say this in English. You can 
um, say I gotta or I've gotta. So I'm gonna say both ways for you. Now again, please remember this is not proper grammar. We don't write it this way, but we speak this way. Okay, so I just want to make sure you know that in proper grammar, you will need to write it out. I've got to go now, okay? And speaking, we don't really speak like that. So I'm gonna say it once without the if, s, or the ve here. And I'm gonna say it once with the half and has, okay? Let's go. I gotta go now. I've gotta go now. He's got to help me with this. He's got to help me with this. She's got to go home early today. She's got to go home early today. They got to walk to the park. They've got to walk to the park. We got to tell them the truth. We've got to tell them the truth. You got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. So again, with the VE, they are optional. You don't have to say them when you're speaking them, but the S, you have to add the S or it's not going to make sense, okay? How about have or has plus gotta plus not? Okay, got to not do something. So you must not do something is the meaning here, all right? So again, I'm gonna say it one with if and one without the if, the V-E here, okay? Let's go. I've gotta not walk too slowly. I gotta not walk too slowly. You gotta not lie about this. You've gotta not lie about this. He's gotta not mess this thing up. He's gotta not mess this thing up. She's gotta not pay for this. She's gotta not pay for this. They gotta not paint over this wall. They've gotta not paint over this wall. We gotta not get in the way. We've not get sorry, we've got to not get in the way. Okay, so hopefully today I was able to give you some practice with the differences among wanna, gonna, and gotta. So this is one way to definitely make you sound more native and more fluent as you speak. So hopefully you'll try them. Again, if you have not hit subscribe, please hit subscribe and the bell, and I will see you very soon next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.